I was going to tell you a story. The first thing you have to understand is that doesn't work the way you think it does. You can call me Oracle because I'm the one who's talking to you. Now, this is going to be the first of a series of five videos, which are less me telling you a story. I'm just going to start out saying that, though, because that, that's just part of my shtick. But um, these are going to be more of the. Uh, I believe I mentioned in the beginning that I was going to be uh, telling you how to do the uh, spell reversals. This is going to be the first of those. So um, this is going to be from. I'm not just going to be using stuff that I like made up myself. Although, uh, if you want me to, I'll explain now, like stuff I could, like I in theory actually did come up with myself. But um, this is uh, a, from the Century of Spells by Drea Mika Herrick. Um, if someone um, happens to know this dude or he happens to see this video and it's like, that is not how my name is pronounced, please happily tell me because, uh, you know, I'd like to, I would like to actually get it right. But anyway, in particular, considering what this one is about. So, first thing is Bill Bear. Now, this method of reversing a spell is particularly effective against spells which have been placed through the air element. The air element includes gossip, slander, and all forms of spoken spells. So, um, I will occasionally, I believe I've said this, mention stuff from Sanskrit. Effectively, mantra is a, um, is a word that means a lot of things in Sanskrit, um, including both spell and incantation. So basically, any anything that required a mantra at some point, um, obviously, like, hopefully you're not getting, like, um, you know, prayers to Kali from, to come after you, because I'm not really sure this will help with, the, this will help with those, because, uh, generally that, that would require you to have pissed Kali off, and, um, yeah, I got a lot of respect for the spell, but, um, um, a, a, a spell reversal versus an actual pissed off goddess, yeah, the, the goddess will win, I'm just saying. Anyway, um, the spell, okay, so um, the spell has been used to halt slanderous testimony in a lawsuit. Cool. Uh, you may use the spell for yourself or for someone else. It frees you from slander. When done on a windy day, this spell has particularly strong effect in returning the spell to the one who cast it. Take about a teaspoon of finely ground sugar, add about a quarter teaspoon of white flour, and a pinch of finely ground salt. Make these in the palm of your hand while concentrating on your desire to be free of curses. Blow the powder out of an open window and immediately say, Here I stand in essence, protect me, O oh Lord. Um, quick note on that. Um, I'm Buddhist. Uh, quite frankly, I believe in basically all gods. So um, I'm really open to uh, any or all, all of them to be like, Oh, okay, so the Lord, yeah. Do we all want to take this one or? Or I was only one of us gonna do it this time, so like that's that's the kind of attitude I take. Um, if you only believe in one, or you only believe in one pantheon, you know, go with them. Cause uh, it's it's all about what like you believe in, um, especially for stuff like this. Now I could be wrong, but I honestly don't think I am. So, um, a quick note on, on thinking I could be wrong, but honestly not thinking I am, about the um, material components of this, like the, 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 the reagents or material components, depending on if you, uh, if you want to view this as like, like spell, a spell that you're casting with, like in a game, these would be like the required materials. I think that's hilarious. Anyway, um, so, so. Flour, sugar, salt. Now, in the balance of these, you have this is a quarter teaspoon. So, you have the flour, and that's basically like the the bulk of the spell, um, which is why there's you know one teaspoon of it. A teaspoon or a tablespoon? I think it's a teaspoon. I'm going to double check. Boom, 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 boom. Take a teaspoon. Good. So, and they really cover some of it. Is it a <laughs> um, So, that's like the bulk of the spell, which is like the slander or the, the bad intent. Um, and the quarter teaspoon.
if it's a, uh, it says about, so if anyone's like, you did too many, and then he puts them back, that, yeah, that's exactly why I put them back, but it, it can be a little bit off topic too, um, because this is about approximations for the same reason. So this is the sugar. This is the fact that there is going to be parts of whatever lives is being spread that unfortunately people are going to want to believe. So this is the, uh, in this case, uh, the tablespoon of sugar for their bad medicine to go down. And this is people actually taking everything they say with a pinch of salt or a grain of salt. And that is what you want people to take because it's essentially about like taking lives and throwing them back in the face of the people who are saying them. So. I already have an open window here. Here I stand in essence, protect me, O oh Lord. And that is reversing the spell of air. Chapter 2. I'll grab my camera. You can call me Oracle. I'm the one who's talking to you, and hopefully this will help a couple people dream safely. Dream safely.